Let's talk about Ko. Ko, better known as Face Stealer Ko, is an incredibly ancient and powerful spirit that's existed for an incredibly long period of time. Being one of the first spirits to ever exist, he predates pretty much everything within the Avatar universe. He predates mankind, he predates the very concept of the Avatar, and predates even the fundamental forces that made up the world. He was so ancient, in fact, he personally knew the ocean and moon spirit before they had even left behind their immortal bodies in order to become a part of the world. And with this incredible age came knowledge and wisdom, with him being one of the most knowledgeable creatures within the whole of spirit world. People would seek him out in order to find incredibly ancient or lost knowledge in a very similar way to how people would seek out the Endless Library. And though he is willing to give up this information to pretty much anyone if you find him, he is known as the face dealer for a reason. If you meet and speak with him, if you show even the smallest glimpse of emotion when talking to him and while he is still looking directly at you, he will have the ability to steal your face. And if your face is stolen, a particularly terrible fate will be waiting for you on the other side. For those who lose their faces, it's very similar to losing your soul. You would be put on the brink of life and death. You will no longer require food or even the ability to breathe. All that basically matters is that your body will remain healthy, but your characteristics are gone. You will be reduced to your most basic instincts, with you only being able to rely on some of your old memories, as well as a couple of your senses, aside from the ones that were obviously lost. You'll be pretty much reduced to a husk of who you once were. And to make matters worse, aside from very small circumstances, you will have pretty much no way to pretty much reverse this. Typically what will happen is that even though you don't require food or water, you'll be left in a catonic state where you will eventually age and die, and then you will be trapped in the spirit world without your face for all of eternity. Additionally, your existence is now linked with that of Ko. If for any reason he were to ever be killed, every single individual whom he has stolen a face from will also die physically and spiritually, meaning you are forever tied to the face stealer and are continuously in torment for the rest of eternity. Now over the course of his lifetime, he has stolen millions of faces. Spirit, beast, human, it doesn't matter, he will personally steal the faces of anyone he could come across and even lures in his own prey with having things that they desire, such as victims, hostages, as well as various forms of knowledge which I mentioned earlier. Now he has no sympathy for anyone and will add you to his collection regardless of who you are. He has actively added children to his collection and even considers them rarities and will actively seek them out if they're available. He also loathes the incredibly prideful. Whenever he sees those who are either incredibly prideful or incredibly free-spirited, he will actively go out of his way to punish them for their arrogance. This is actually how we came into contact as well as conflict with one of the various avatars being Kurok. Seeing how he was the avatar, but despite this was incredibly free-spirited, arrogant, and prideful, he went out of his way to take his fiance from him. He would lure her away either into the spirit realm or into an isolated location within the mortal world and would actively steal her face. This would result in Ko and Kurok having a conflict in which Kurok would attempt to kill him. However, he would be forced to stand down due to the fact that if he had actually managed to kill him, then it would have killed his fiance in turn. Now, despite coming out of this the victor, as well as being able to keep his fiance, he still holds a massive grudge against the Avatar for this. Now, although he says he doesn't hold a grudge against Aang since he's an entirely different person, he still shows obvious signs of anger. It should also be known that unlike many other spirits, he has a tendency to leave the spirit world for the mortal world for various occasions. Typically, he does this whenever he finds a new victim or someone in particular who pissed him off. It's possible that he came in contact with the Avatar when he was in the mortal world rather than in the spirit world. Anyway, that's all I got for this episode. I know this isn't what I typically do, however, I just wanted to dip my toes into some more content considering, you know, Adventure Time is awesome, but sometimes there's just some shows that deserve the limelight. So if you want to see more Avatar, be sure to hit that subscribe button, that bell icon, that like icon, but also if this manages to get 20,000 views, I'll be sure to come back with another episode on it. Anyway, I won't hold you, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!